Get me a little bit of workbench time today. Tie, tear down the microwave. First, first thing I do back here, cut the power cord off. And then, uh, if you're new to scrapping, the scrapyards like you to cut these uh, plugs off. Now, a lot of guys save them, and when they get them, you know, a bit piled up, bucket full or something, and they pull out the brass prongs. I got a bunch I need to do. And then this just goes into insulated wire. I think it's about 50%. I just put all my power cords in one batch. And the first thing we got on the microwave, yeah, let me set this aside for just a second. Because here at the top we have two security screws. It's a Torx, some call it a star, but it's a Torx 20. And it's got the little, the screw's got the little stub in the end, so you got to get the one that's got the one that's got the little hole, which you can find them all over the place. Uh, I got this set here. It's got all kinds of security bits in it. And uh, I think I got this one at Ace Hardware. You can get them at uh, Harbor Freight. I'm sure Amazon has them. They're pretty readily available. Of course, the T20. I've stripped it out or something out of there, and then I have a couple other little sets. Well, this is a T20, a long one I found. Unless it's just got so plugged up it can't go in the hole, but it doesn't look like it wants to go in, so it might be a 15. Let me clear this hole out. Get my little poker. See if that'll fit it now. Eh, barely. It might take a 15. Yeah, that 20 doesn't seem to be doing any good. Here's a 15. Let me try it. I think the 15 is going to work. Yeah, sometimes you get get some security bits in a set like this. Yeah, the 15 works. Yeah, there's peanut butter. Looks like he's wanting him to eat. So, you gotta pause this for a second. Let him in the open the door for him. I need to teach him how to open doors. Are you hungry, peanut butter? Yeah, I saw you out running down the neighborhood. Been out chasing them females. <coughs> okay, once you get the two torques, or the, yeah, the two torques out, then you got a couple of screws down here. There's usually one on the side. So this side doesn't have one, but this uh, other side, which if you're looking at the front of it, it'd be on the right-hand side. Well, it looks like I may have a couple more torques here. What is this one? That's a Torx too. That's kind of odd. Usually they have one or two torques just to kind of keep you, kind of keep you out of there, and then, and then the rest are Phillips. Of course, this one's got to be different since I'm recording. These two here are Phillips. I think those hold the uh, hold the transformer in. So now I think I'm done with the 15. And for those guys that don't have power tools yet, I noticed 
Ooh, last night, night before, I think, that uh, Ryobi days has started. I think it's about going about four days now, and it'll usually go till through Father's Day, where you buy. Well, they have a few different things. You can buy two of these regular four amp hour batteries and a battery charger for ninety nine dollars, and get a free tool. And then I think they have another one where you get, I think, a two. Four and a six amp amp hour might be the high performance. You get those, you know, get the three of those for two hundred dollars, one hundred ninety nine, something like that, and then you get a, a free tool that it's a higher dollar tool, I believe. So just go to uh, HomeDepot.com and I don't know if they have it going on in the stores yet, but they do online. So you go to HomeDepot.com and check it out. Look for you know, the batteries. Now this part I usually just throw it on the floor and flatten the ends on in. Bend them in. Stand on them, flatten them down good. So I haven't ordered anything yet off of there, but. I need to. You know, Home Depot usually has free shipping too, I believe. Now, usually in a microwave, all your goodies are here on one end. And lots of little wires to clip. So. This one's got a whole bunch of fine little wires. Just pull the blade off, and then you got got your little motor back here, a little bit of copper. Copper's good. We like copper. Pennies used to be made out of copper, and they were really worth something. Now they're made out of zinc, I believe. See people metal detecting, they find they can find old wheat back pennies and stuff like that that are still pretty decent shape. But any of the newer pennies, since like 84 and newer, or <laughs> if you can make sure make it out to be a penny or there'll be a big chunk out of it or something, that zinc just the weather and zinc just are not uh, very compatible. We get a little bit of copper there. I'll put this aside for later clean up and this one here. Basically here you just pull this out and you can put this on a good hard surface, hit it here, it'll spread apart and this piece will come right on out. So, which we can pull these two screws out real quick. If they unscrewed from the nuts. Nope. Put my finger on the nut to keep it from spinning. Doesn't take a lot of pressure on these. And a little bit of wire for the wire bucket. Yeah, transformers or these microwaves are usually pretty pretty simple. And a lot of guys hang on to it and they'll dump screws or something small stuff on the inside to fill up the, fill up the airspace. Because then we got the magnetron, so we get our magnets, a little bit of aluminum fins. I'll tear some of them down later. And then I got a condenser here. And the wire is going to the transformer. 
unfortunately we're in the age of aluminum and a lot of these microwaves anymore have uh, aluminum wire in them which some people find it worth their time to tear them down others don't so it's just that's your preference I have heard from another scrapper that where he's at in Illinois that uh, at least one of his yards pays a pretty good price for aluminum wire. So you may check your yard and see what they pay. I just, here I just get I've taken in barrels and yeah, just save it up till I got a 55 gallon barrel full of aluminum wire taking it in and still got about 40 cents a pound but I think he said uh, the one yard he was talking about was paying about 80 cents a pound now this does have a little circuit board here for those that do micro scrapping or you can pull that out and if your yard takes a uh, circuit boards And it'd just be a low grade circuit board. Oh, one more screw. I thought I only counted three. And sure enough. Okay. Grab me a little file here. Flip it around to this side. Yeah, that bottom set is definitely aluminum. Let's see if we can get dug in here to the. So one thing I don't like about transformers is sometimes how they have it all wrapped up and you can't hardly get into the to the metal. And then if you do, you can't hardly get all this paper and plastic or you know whatnot off of there. And that one's definitely aluminum. Which I got a milk crate over here. I started putting transformers in. For this microwave turntables, you know, glass is already in it. So now there is one more item on here that we do have down here on the bottom. Now you got this little cover here. There's no screws or anything. Or sometimes needle nose or something. Because you got a little tab here. You got pretty well cut out here, but you got little tabs in between these double holes. You know, that where it's not cut through. Yeah, here's a here's a fine tip pair of needle nose. You just get in there and Twist it until that one breaks. Yeah, today's kind of cloudy. Temperature's nice. Uh, 73 in here right now, so it's real nice out here in the shop. And fold that back wires here to clip. You got a little bit of electric motor right there. Be a little bit of copper in it. Some people would probably say it's not worth the effort, but and you got a choice on these too. You can either break these down and get the clean copper out or you could probably sell them just like this as copper bearing motors. Or whatever your yard may call it. So that's pretty much it for a microwave. So and I missed the bucket. So just a quick and simple little video here. Mainly for the newcomers, you don't need a whole lot of tools. You know, a set, a set of security sockets for your and uh, our security bits. And you can, like I say, you can fill that with screws and stuff and put it on your truck. 
Uh, not too many tools involved. And like I say, if you need power tools, Ryobi days has started. So save up a little, get a little scrap together and get it in and sell it and get about a hundred dollars together and you can go down and get you a drill if you don't have one. Get two batteries, get the bag to carry it in. Yeah, two batteries and a you know single charger. I've got about ten of them single chargers around here right now. But I got ten or twelve batteries, but uh, since I started the solar thing, I got some of the batteries in the house. My wife's got a spotlight in there, and then I got a few in the in by my desk where I got a little inverter and a run fan or one of them little Arctic cools with it, and uh, got my Ryobi fan. So, but mainly try to use the, uh, I'm using my solar, solar side up to charge the batteries. So this way I can kind of get something, some use out of the solar. And then I use the batteries for a fan at night if I need a fan, if it's, if it's hot in there. Or if I'm watching Netflix, I have the fan on running off a Ryobi battery. Uh, got flashlight in there. So. Finding use for the batteries, that kind of throws me short out here. I got maybe three or four batteries out here. And then, then another four or something like that in the house. So I should have some more around somewhere. But uh, I'm going to have to dig, dig around and look. I usually take some down the storm cellar if we go down there. But I got that little inverter, so I use it a lot in the house. I may have some on the air, air compressor I'm not sure I think let me look air compressors here behind oh yeah I got one there so you got at least four batteries out here then so I could use a couple more so I'll probably order me a couple batteries here soon and see what tool I need I may get another sawzall because those always come in handy never hurts to have one in the shop one in the truck <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to look the tools over good and figure out what I want to get. So I may go, to, go in the house and do that here shortly, but uh, I don't know. i got other things I want to get done. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you guys. You know, hit, hit the thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.